Hello everybody and welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. I wanted to talk about something different. So on Sunday I did something called the Ironman 70.3 or the Half Ironman. So the, uh, the full Ironman is a like a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride, and a full marathon. So I did the Half Ironman which is a 1.2 mile swim, a 56 mile bike ride, and a um, 13.2 mile run. So definitely uh, I approached these, each leg of these races as individual races, but I just wanted to talk about kind of my story, why I got into it, and kind of uh, kind of what's been going on. So about a year ago, I decided to start kind of waking up in the morning and doing some running, and I decided since I was, that was kind of my first thing, and then I started writing down a like a weight loss goal, which I actually haven't achieved yet. I'm at like 190 now, I'm about 10 pounds from my weight loss goal, but I started doing something called affirmations, which is like where you write your goal down or you say it in your head and you just say, I, Jeff Pop, will be 180 pounds. And you just do that about 20 times. So I started doing that and it actually helped me just kind of uh, focus on the goal um, because really uh, achieving a your goal weight is probably one of the most important things that you can do. Um, so if you think about different goals or different things you have or different things that the day throws at you, it's very important for you to actually have a goal like that if you're not at your goal weight. Because um, if you're, uh, the heavier you are really, the, the higher your chances are of getting diabetes. And I don't know, I've, I've undergone a lot of changes. I lost about 60 pounds and somewhere in the I think when when I was I'm I'm about 10 pounds from my weight loss goal so I have 10 more pounds to go wish me luck but um so somewhere in the middle of that my my brother kind of challenged me to do this um iron man I just want to do kind of talk about it so like I said before the iron man is a 1.2 mile swim 56 mile bike and a 13 point two mile run. So I just kind of wanted to explain that this is actually my, this was actually my first um, race of any kind. So I haven't done any 5Ks. I haven't done any half marathons. I haven't done any full marathons. Um, obviously I know I can do a half marathon. I'm pretty confident that I could do a full marathon um, after training for the Ironman. I just wanted to talk about kind of the challenges with it. So I actually think that, so I'm a former high school swimmer. I was captain of my swim team when I was in high school. Um, and then I kind of let myself go and I gained a bunch of weight. But um, I think the hardest portion of the race is the swim because the swim is very psychological. Um, and the reason I say that is because the, uh, the swim is with a lot of other swimmers. So you have like, um, we did it in, in the um, in the bay of Atlantic City. There's a little bay there, and it has it has um, a little bit of a current. So along with there being a, and a little bit of a current is enough to push you around a lot. So I felt when I was doing this swim that I was being pushed around a lot. And at the same time, I kept running into people, and people kept running into me. So there's a, there's a huge psychological thing there where you're like, if you're not confident in your ability to tread water, or you're um, you know, of your ability to swim, you could definitely get into trouble. So I think the, the swim is actually the most challenging part and you're already kind of revved up when you do it. So you're already like kind of anxious of, about the, the race itself. And when you start to swim, five minutes almost feels like an hour. And so I actually had to look at my, uh, look at my watch and see like, okay, I've only been swimming for five minutes. You got this. It's not that big a deal. And I, and I think about every three or four strokes during the swim, I had to look up and sort of recalibrate my direction because when you're in a swimming, swimming pool, you look at the bottom, there's a line there. It's very easy to see where you're going. But in the murky, um, the murky waters of Atlantic City, I think you barely can tell where you're going. And I found myself being almost pushed all the way to the other end of the course. So the course was like a horseshoe. You know, you, you go, 
you know, just like a horseshoe. I almost found myself being pushed to the opposite direction. I had to swim back to get on on course. So I actually got pushed past like the kayaks and all the all the lifeguards and everything and I had to swim back. And you kind of feel like you're you're going going in zigzags, you're not getting very far. I think that's more of a psychological thing. Um, because I, I was able to do it in about 40 minutes and um, but it really did feel like there were zigzags so definitely I think the swim is the hardest part even if you are a good swimmer um, I would definitely recommend at least swimming in the open water trying to do an open water swim would be even better but um, you don't have to if you're if you're a good swimmer um, so I, I remember the race director talking about how many people haven't done any any triathlons and that was me and I actually haven't done any organized races really since like high school um, but um, you know as long as you you get to the swim I think the the bike and the run are pretty good the worst thing that could happen with the run is or with the bike is uh, kind of a mechanical issue like I actually had my chain fall off and then I had to put the chain back on but there were a lot of people that popped tires I saw a couple of people that had some pretty gnarly injuries from from probably slipping and having their tires slip and then falling and hitting something. Some people were pretty bloodied up. Um, the racers were mostly very positive. Everybody was super positive. If you wanted to pass somebody, it wasn't not very many people were really blocking um, during the bike ride. It was a really positive kind of experience. Everybody was really like a lot of people would just say hey you got this and I think towards the end of the bike bike ride is when I started to feel somewhat fatigued um, so I have been training for it so I knew that I could you know go for six hours or train or you know race I could do a long bike ride I could do a long run I had never really combined the whole thing together before but um, at the end of the bike ride I actually felt pretty tired um, you know, the most important thing I think that I would do differently is I would probably try to um, get my equipment earlier. I was actually scrambling a few days before the race to get my actual like tri suit. So I wound up getting like tri bike shorts on Amazon and then wearing a uh, wearing a bike jersey because I couldn't find a tri jersey, which is basically like a, I think they're usually like sleeveless. Um, bike jerseys. There are bike jerseys that you could actually wear in the water. Um, I did wear a, a wetsuit for the the swim. That was my first time in that wetsuit, um, but it worked out okay. I definitely, if they let you wear a wetsuit, I would definitely wear one because they have buoyancy. And um, during with the current and everything, it actually helps you um, in the swim is to have a wetsuit on. So, but I would definitely try out your equipment. I didn't try out my wetsuit. I didn't try out my bike jersey um, and I didn't really, for better or for worse, I didn't really do that much nutrition when I was training. I only ate, like, because I've been on a keto, kind of a semi-keto diet or a low-carb diet, so I tried to avoid nutrition when I was training. I think it helped me because uh, I did eat about 300 calories worth of sugar during the race and I think that helped me um, get perform better than I had in training. But it is recommended that if you do the um, Ironman to have some workouts where you, you are taking in 300 calories so you know how your body's going to respond to um, whatever brand or whatever type of food you're using. And you can have like a favorite, um, a favorite strategy. I prefer liquid as much as possible so like if, if like during the the run, I used the aid stations and they had Coke. So I tried to drink as much Coke as I could. Um, during the bike ride, it's a lot harder because you can't pack that much liquid. So you have to use a lot of gel packs or the little gummy chews or whatever. But I would definitely try to train um, using nutrition. I didn't really, I would eat like apples or random things when I was training. I didn't, I wasn't really that sophisticated about it. But I got through and I think, you know, if, if you're planning on doing an Ironman, uh, I'll get your equipment earlier. I got my bike like a month before, so I was training mostly on a mountain bike. Um, 
there's definitely benefits to training on a mountain bike because uh, it's it's harder to um, use a mountain bike and so when I was on the like the five pound carbon fiber bike that I bought I was like well surprised at how fast I could go and um, I think you will be too if you train on a mountain bike but definitely get your equipment early so you can kind of get used to it try to use it in practice and um, if you're trying to do an Ironman 70.3 is your first race. If you're determined, I think it's possible. Like I haven't done any other races. I think, you know, as long as you can swim, I think the swimming is the worst part of it. And as long as you have like a good mindset when you're doing it, if you don't treat like, um, like I don't really treat like, think about like quitting or anything during, I was just, like I, was, like I know when I was, my mindset when I was on the bike was like, oh, I can't wait till I run so I can have some Coke because I really like to drink Coke. And I know that about towards the end of the bike ride, my mind started to just kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say shut down, but you do get kind of this like, almost like you feel a little brain dead. You're kind of just like, basically you get in your body, like intensely in your body, which it's a really nice feeling. And I think that um, when you, when you're, exercising really hard towards the end of that exercise it's a really good feeling like when you're 100 percent in your body and it's something that really nobody ever talks about um they just talk about how painful exercise can be but if you can do like endurance exercise towards the end of a long period uh, you start to feel really good really in tune with, with your your body and everything and you you know your your brain kind of just cools down and you don't have all the chatter and all the bs that goes on it's almost like very meditative another thing i recommend is if you're doing the iron man in your training i would turn i would leave the um earbuds out for a lot of your longer workouts so you can get used to um exercising without somebody talking in your ear like you're listening to joe rogan or um I don't know whatever financial podcast or something in your ear just or music just try to exercise without the music or without anything going on and that'll help you um that'll help you stay focused when you're when you're racing so but anyways uh I don't know I can put up my race split or whether I don't know if that'd be interesting to you know usually I don't talk about stuff like this for my channel is mostly about drugs and stuff, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the Iron Man because I think it's it's good to whatever it is if you if to set a um, to set a race or some things uh, some kind of a physical achievement. I think it's good to have that in the future. It keeps you kind of healthy while you're um, you know while you're training for it. I think the training is kind of the most beneficial part of you know doing an Iron Man or something. It's just something to look forward to, something to help push yourself a little bit. And you definitely, you know, it definitely helps you put all the BS at work and stuff like that in perspective. If you have like a, a race to look forward to, or I don't know, some people climb mountains or, you know, have different challenges that they're looking forward to. I definitely think if you have a challenge that you need to achieve and you have to do some preparation for that challenge, I think it really helps you keep other things in perspective and you know definitely it's 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 super important so i hope you guys found this uh interesting if you did please give me a thumbs up please subscribe if you happen to be in the um atlantic city iron man let me know uh, maybe i maybe i saw you running past me so i hope you guys uh found this interesting uh if you did please subscribe and uh, please give me a thumbs up i want to thank you guys for watching thanks a lot